Hello, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and this week saw the release of COA Tools 1.0 and quickly followed by 1.1 1 .1, uh, for Blender. Now, if you've never heard of it, COA stands for Cut Out Animation, and this is a project I have been meaning to cover for months and months and months and months and just haven't got to it yet, and that is a gigantic shame. So we're going to get to it a little bit today with the promise that I am going to revisit this in much greater detail further down the road. So uh, without further ado, I present to you COA tools from Blender. And as you can see, it is 2D animation inside of the Blender editor. Now I haven't spent enough time with this guy to really be comfortable um, showcasing it to you. So I'm basically just presenting it. Here it is. And as you can see, it um, is implemented as a tab within Blender. It uses Blender's existing systems. Uh, you can switch between a 3D and a 2D view like so. And basically this works a lot like other 2D animation systems. Basically you cut up your spline into various, your, your 2D image into various different body parts. Um, you arrange them all together. You add uh, bone based animations underneath and then you create your various different animations here. You can see a run animation. Uh, an idle animation, a rest pose, back to our run animation. So you see, you can define your different animations going on. And then the most impressive part is um, from here, you can then export or um, so you can import in, uh, you can export out to uh, the Godot game engine uh, 2.x as the, or 2.1 as the current version supported. Uh, you can export as a sprite sheet. Uh, there is Photoshop support. It's just a really impressive tool. So if you're a Blender developer but looking to do 2D game-based animation, definitely check out Cutout Animation, um, COA Tools. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, COA Tools uh, 1.0 was just released this week. So you can see up here... Um, Five days ago, 1.0 was released. Various different features were added. Uh, JSON export, uh, sprite sheet mechanics, uh, Dragon Dragon Bones export. Dragon Bones is another of these 2D animation systems. There's uh, Dragon Bones, there's Creature, there's Spine, and then there's COA tools. They're probably the big four. Oh, and Spriter. Um, we're probably the big five in the 2D animation world. Uh, and they all work kind of on the same-ish level. Uh, it also supports auto-updating, um, so it can keep itself up to date if you have that enabled. And then the quickly released subsequent 1.0.1 was followed on uh, basically just uh, improvements to the sprite importer, outliner, uh, etc. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail on this guy because I don't have a lot of experience with it yet, but this is definitely one of those projects I'm going to look at in more depth down the road. So this is COA tools for uh, Blender. If you're interested in grabbing it, very straightforward process. By the way, it's open source and completely free, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can head on over to um, COA tools. Uh, I'll give this link down below. It's basically on GitHub. And what you ultimately need to do, you can just grab the whole archive as a zip, but the folder that you need to copy into Blender is ultimately in the COA tools folder. Uh, get the COA tools, you can uh, download, grab all this, extract that folder out, turn it into a zip file and import it that way, or you can just copy this directory once downloaded directly into your Blender folder and you are off to the races. The rest of this is the various importers and exporters I was talking about, your Photoshop support, uh, your Godot 2.1 support, and there's GIMP support here as well. Um, plus the sample file that you see running right here, uh, that is available for download as well. That is in uh, the sample files folder. And uh, yeah, basically that is uh, COA tools. Definitely a cool one. Let me know if you do want me to cover this one. I, I'm, I'm intending to do it anyways, but let me do it uh, also. I love these open source tools. I love these 2D animation systems. It's kind of taking over the world. I love that um, they're being broadly supported in the various different game engines out there. So you can really bring, instead of just bringing in a sprite sheet, you could bring in a whole lot more functionality. Um, really a cool step forward. Uh, this is a great project. Again, I've been meaning to cover it forever and sadly I didn't. And today it's hit, or a couple days ago, it hit its 1.0 release and then it's 1.0.1 release. And I figured I should cover it at least in some detail today, and I will cover it in more detail later on. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please, of course, do click that like button, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.